California, an AL West matchup on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. So here's the lefty, Reed Detmers. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. J.P. Crawford stands in here, takes ball one low. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. The next pitch misses and it's three and oh. Yeah. And that's in for a strike. And now a full count. Count is full. Out to short. Fires over to first. One out in the top of the first. The center field. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Singy Reed Detmers, 10th overall pick in the 2020 draft. You're talking about a guy who is a really good player at Louisville, wow. and in his rookie year, he authored a no hitter. The 1 0. Just no, missed. Yeah, and in that rookie year with the nasty curveball, struck out 122 in 129 innings pitch. That's almost a strikeout per inning. An Illinois yeah. kid, but he grew up a Cardinals fan. When he was 11, the Cardinals won the 2011 World Series, and that's when he became a diehard Redbirds fan. Swings and misses. It's two and two. In the dirt, Wallach down to first, out on the drop third strike, two gone. Well, obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. And here is Ty France. Oh, and, and a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Ty France, a pretty cool story. A 34th round pick in 2015 out of San Diego State. And in 2022, he was an all-star. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Slow curveball drops in for a strike. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Snap throw. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. back here at Angel Stadium and today's starting pitcher George Kirby and Chris he's a guy that gets better when things get tough yeah and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound I mean opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting and around the base path so the taking the mound no this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate and I expect him to be good in this one so in now for the Angels Taylor Ward the pitch way high oh. Swing and a miss. One and one. Strike one. Right hander kicks deals. Just missed. Oh. 
the 2 2 on the way. Fights it off. You'll see another. Next offering is fouled back. The 2 2. On the ground at first. Ford takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Jared Walsh now at the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Got away with that one. Left the curveball up a little bit. He's going to have to finish it if it's going to be an effective pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Oh, he can't squeeze it. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. One down, base is empty. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Next offering way upstairs. Left hand hitter waits. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Pretty nasty cutter right there. And you're seeing that pitch, that location a lot more these days. And you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout. Next one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Two up. And downstairs. 3 0 down. That's through there for a strike. That yeah. pitch gets the inside corner, and it's three and two. Oh, and down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Angels go quietly there, scoreless after one. Back in Anaheim, here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. Cal. Whoa. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. One ball, And another oh. ball. Our plate umpire, Freddie Ferguson. Good hitters count the 2 0. Misses with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. at the knees and the count is three and one what about an umpire's height how much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like yeah I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit which you know as a former hitter you like that you wanted the ball up you didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently well he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot hitter didn't offer at it now he has somebody to worry about over at first and now Teoscar Hernandez as the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And a pitch. 
And now the count one and, one and two after the swing and the miss. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Here's Jared Kelnick. First pitch oh, no, just misses. In the air, left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. No score here in the second. Got him. That's out number three. One left for Seattle. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here at the ballpark, Brandon Drury to the play. The first base, Brandon Drury. Kirby back to work. That's in there. That's strike one. And that's in there at the knees. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. One ball. Next strikes. offering way off the plate. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And the next pitch is way outside. And the right hander deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And now the count now filled up goal. three and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Got him looking for the K. Frozen with the heater at the knees. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Here's Gio Urshela. That one close ruled a ball. And that's ball one. Here comes a pitch. And there's the strike. 1-1. One, one. Wouldn't chase that That's time. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Righty delivers. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Joe. 
Adele. Here's Joe Adele. Fouled off down the right side. Ground ball could be two. Wong to second, on to four. Double play. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mike Ford. And he deals. Strike one. Oh, and one. The wind and the pitch. That misses no. off the outside edge. One ball, one strike. Way high with Two that one. one. Two balls and a strike. there for a strike. Two and two. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball count. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. He goes down looking. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Colton Wong up to here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Wong goes five feet seven inches, 32 years old, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. The pitch. Misses off oh. the play. One ball, one strike. One and one. Swings through the fastball up one, in the two. zone. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And that one is lifted in the air. Adele going after it. Calls it in, two away. Now that shortstop, JP. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, JP Crawford. Grounded out his first time up. In the air, out towards right center. Adele moves under it. Makes the catch, inning over. Mariners go down quietly there, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back. And, and now it's the switch hitting oh, second Angel. baseman, Luis Rangifo. The pitch. And that one a little that's bit that's high. Slap the other way, foul. And the pitch. Ball. Oh. 
And a foul ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Over to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And next for the Angels, number nine. And that's in there for strike one. No ball. One strike. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Long oh. to first. Inning over. Angels held in check. Still no score. Back here at Angel Stadium, and stepping in is the speedy Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. The pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. And that misses off the outside edge. One and one. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. That hits the dirt, two, two. and the count's even at two. Kicks and deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And now the lefty stays alive. Breaking ball inside. And a full count now. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And here's a 3-2. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And next is the designated hitter, Ty France. His first at bat was a strikeout. And there's a foul ball. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. That's in there, and that is strike two. Well, okay. we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That's the ball. Way inside, gets out of the way. And here it comes. France tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. In there and it's 0-1. And that's a little bit high. 1-1. Rodriguez, the runner at second with one away. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out.
Runner leads away at second. And now two and two. Hit hard on the ground to short. Tosses across the first. Two out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Yeehaw. And that is in for a strike. 0 and 1. And that one is inside ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Good eye in that spot. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. And now it's even up. Two outs. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Jared Kellner on deck for the ends. Runner at second, two down. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Adele ranging back, and it is gone! He sends one out the opposite way, and they jump out front. It's 2-0. scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time that ball was hit hard. So two down. Jared Kellner up next for the Mariners. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Two down, nobody on. That one missing inside. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning. Now and it's the Angels' leadoff the man, Angels. Taylor Ward. No left field here. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That's outside, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And now two balls and a strike. Next offering is foul back. Here's the 2-2. Struck him out swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Oh, Came inside easy. with that two-strike fastball that's nicely that's and just bunched him up yeah, right. on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. 
Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to that figure missed. out a That's way to ball. put him away. Did a nice job right there. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. One down. And now batting Mike Trout. Struck out looking at his first at bat. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only oh. other players in Major League history with those numbers one ball, one at that age, A-Rod and Willie Mays. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's got a chance. And forget it. A shot to the opposite field. Home run number 15 on the year. And it ties it up. It's 2-2. Two -two. a cutter away kind of works like a slider you've got to stay on it let it travel a little bit and then get your arms extended really good piece of hitting right there and next will be the cleanup hitter Brandon Drury first pitch doesn't find the zone Still only one out here in the inning. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. So he blasts one out the other way. And the Halos jump out in front. It's 3-2. back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate this is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ballpark the base is empty one away Gio Urshela the next to hit for the Angels picked up a base hit to center his first time up Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Next offering is foul back. And one, one and two. two. Yeah, that skips oh. in the dirt. Oh, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And that one is lifted in the air, and he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Man at first with one gone, and now the right fielder, Joe Adele. That Good. one's in there, 0-1. Urshela leads off first with one away. Right, 
Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He flexes his power with that swing. His second of the year, it's 5-2. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In the air out to center. Rodriguez heads towards it. Snags it on the run. And there's two down. The catch is number 35. Chad Wallach now grounded out his first time. Pitch misses oh. inside, and that is ball one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The 1-1. One, one. Out in front, and foul to the left side. And the righty deals. Sets him down looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. They had the long ball working three times for a total of five runs. On to the top of the fifth we go. Angels five and the Mariners two. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. The third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. The wind of the pitch. That one oh. missed. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Tucker Davidson, the left handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Bachman, the right hander, also getting loose. Next pitch is outside. There's a swing and a drive. Caught just shy of the wall. And it'll bring up Mike Ford. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. One out, runner at second. Colton Wong will hit next. Swings through that one. 0-1. And that's in the dirt. Oh. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. One Just spit on it. On the ground. That takes care of Wong. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Ball one, no strikes. Slapped foul.
That misses, oh. and it's two and one. There's a strike. And that one moves his feet. Get on the ground to the right side. Drury takes it himself, and that is that. Mariners leave one. They trail at 5 2. Back in Anaheim, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, number 14. Kirby back to work. That one called a strike. And it's 0-1. Action in the pen down there. Chris Flexen up and loosening in the pen. Festa getting loose as well. And a pitch. And strike two. No balls, two strikes. Into left center for a base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat no, after be. being no, down in the count, up against Take it with her. two strikes right there. Solid Whoa. swing from start to end, Ladies on time with everything. Right, really good please. balance, nice extension, now, now and he met it out front for the line Number drive knock. Gabe Spire Gabe. takes over on the mound. Spire. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. Check swing, went around, and one and one. Working down to the zone to start the at-bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back-to-back -back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now as a hitter, yeah. Throws to second for one. How about that double play? So his plan of attack on the mound worked perfectly right there. Got what he was looking for. Well, he was determined to get that hitter to take a pass at that pitch, knowing that if he got it on the ground, the defense is really good behind him. They could roll it up, get the double play. They did just that. Ball, that's in. The next offering no, that's misses. That's the Two and oh. And another ball. Mike Trout in the on deck circle. Good plate Best appearance ball, there. Able base. to take the walk. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so now much for that. that. Pretty good Better pitch, really. but just doesn't get the call oh. on 3 0. Now oh. Trout gets a chance to hit. Flashed his power last time, blasted one over the wall to the opposite field. And that one just nope. misses. A ball and no strikes. Well, Singy, Mike Trout, the resume speaks for itself. A guy that's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star Game MVPs, a Rookie of the Year. I mean, he's going to go down as one of the best position players ever. And that one missing low. Yeah, Mike Trout, since the day he got to the big leagues, a, a superstar. And it's been amazing to watch because... Earlier in his career, you figured he would taper off some. He wouldn't be a you know top three finisher in the MVP. Remember several years he was finishing behind Miguel Cabrera. 
and then just emerged as the guy and incredible to see what he's done over all these years. Pitch in the dirt and the counts full. Right side, hard hit. Ford steps on the bag, and that is the inning. Angels strand one. They're still out in front, 5-2. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Tucker Davidson. The southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Tucker Davidson. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez measures six feet, four inches, 22 years old. And he took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Aaron Loop, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Otani, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. That one is absolutely belted. And that ball is gone. A towering shot to right. His 12th of the season. It's 5-3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. And yeah, the batter now, Ty France. That's that misses, and that's ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The 1 0. And that's too high. Yeah, that Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Oh. That one in for a strike, 2 and 2. Two and two. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin Whoa. off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Cal Raleigh. Good eye right oh. there. Rudder at first with no outs here. And that one fouled off. The 1-1. One -one. That's a little bit low. But you want. And that one fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. 2-2 two -two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next oh. offering misses. Three and two now. Teoscar Hernandez. Up next for the Mariners. Three two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And up next for Seattle, Teoscar Hernandez. First offering misses the mark. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And a pitch. Nope. Ball. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Way Three high out. there. Three balls, no strikes. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. And there's ball and four. Ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly there in some hot water trying to protect this lead. First and second, one out. Jared Kellner up next for the Mariners. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and a count one and one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Trout settles under it. Two away. Now, now, third base. you hit your so first and second with two outs. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. That misses. And it's a ball to strike. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. One, two. Line drive, base hit. Headed for the plate. The run scores. Here comes a second. Relay throw home. The tag out. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left on. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six. Angels five and the M's four. And welcome back. Now here is Brandon Drury. First pitch doesn't Ball. find the zone. Spire in his second season. He features a slider, a sinker, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. The pitch. That one in the Two dirt. Two balls, no strikes. Movement in the bullpen. Justin Topa appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Check swing, oh. no appeal. And that's ball three. Rio. Swing and a miss three as balls. he was late no that strike. time. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. full count. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball, but with high velocities, these. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Banks off the wall. And he's there with a double. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Gio Urshela to the plate. Yeah. 
Pitch misses ball. there. Ball one. One ball, no strike. There's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Suarez throw to first in time. One away, bottom of the six. The right fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. Now it's the right fielder, Joe Adele. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that's through there for a strike. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. Not close with that one. It's a ball and two strikes. Now fly ball to right center. Makes a nice running catch. And there are two outs. Here's the second baseman, no Luis no Rangifo. Baseman. Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Now, now catcher. And here's the catcher, Chad Wallach. Oh, oh. Ground ball up the middle. Sends it to first. And the inning is over. Angels strand a couple as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. Top of inning number seven, Mike Ford at the plate. Leading off of the Mariners, the first base, Mike Ford. Davidson back to work. That's a slider for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Oh, that got him. And that'll put the tying run on base to start the inning. Fastball high and tight right there. A scary combo. I tell you what, everyone in the stadium looked like they felt like they needed to jump out of the way. I know I moved. Wong in the box now. Take strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. 0-2 now. And he hits a ground ball right side into the outfield base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Shohei Otani comes on now. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So the batting order turns over. J.P. Crawford, the next to hit. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Trying to move the runners over. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. And it stays fair. Now it rolls down into the corner. Around third. 
He'll score, and the Mariners have tied the game. 5-5 five, five now. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. And a foul ball. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Runners on the corners, no outs. And the pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-2. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. So he needed a strikeout there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Two on, one out. Ty France up next for the Mariners. In there for strike one. Wong at third, Crawford at first, one gone. Deal two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two on, one out. Double play ball to second. There's one, and that's two. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even at five apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Festa. He last pitched two days ago. Matt Festa. Now here is number nine. For the Angels, the shortstop. And the pitch. And takes low for ball one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Here comes a pitch. And a count one and two. Just misses with that one. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Two-two down. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That missed inside, and it's three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And it's ball four. He missed down low. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. Digging in, Taylor Ward. in there for strike one no ball, one the go ahead run aboard at first nobody out next offering oh. misses down and away oh. 
Pickoff move to first, and he's back in there. Next pitch has popped up. Crawford moving under this one. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Now back at the designated hitter. Jared. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That one's in there, 0 and 1. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Next offering upstairs. The 1 1 is fouled off with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here right handed reliever little trouble with this one behind the plate no advance good job behind the dish sharp grounder that's through for a base hit and the go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Ripped, but it curls foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. 0 and 2 now. Just a slow ground ball this time. Tags the runner for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Hard on the ground to first. Ford oh. takes it to the bag. That ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Cal Raleigh. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And the right hander back to work. Swing it a foul straight back. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Ward sizing it up. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. And now for Seattle, Teoscar Hernandez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Ball to strike, the pitch. That's low, that's a ball. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And gone. 
A shot to left. His second home run of the game. It's 6-5. A slider right down the middle of the plate, it's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive, and you want to hit it a long way, and he did. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kellner. That catches the corner. At the belt and fires. That one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Got him swinging. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez. All right, singing, you know him a dork. Shohei Otani go back to May 5th 2022 at Fenway Park he tossed a complete game through 99 pitches get this 81 strikes it was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts one and one. that's just unreal and a 1-1 foul back our way and that's out of play Kicks and fires. Bows it off, still one and two. And there's a ball. In the dirt. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. The Mariners pick up a run thanks to this solo homer. It's now 6-5. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Matt Brash. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Gio Urshela steps in. The third baseman. A line to kick the pitch. That one ripped. Should be extra bases. The relay to second, he's in there. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now the right fielder, Joe Adele. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. That's off the mark. One ball, one strike. Activity in the bullpen. Paul Seawall appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Here's a 1-1. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is out of here. 
They're going crazy in the dugout, and they add a pair. It's 7-6. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. This guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Awesome. Yeah. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. And that's in for a strike. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And a foul ball, third base side. Here's the 0-2. The punch out there. Snap throw. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Justin Topa. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And next for L.A., Chad Wallach. There's the strike. And that one that just missed, missed off the outside edge. One ball, one strike. That misses. Ball. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. The pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Number nine yeah. in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And he deals. Struck him out looking. Two-run shot for the Angels this inning. Last chance coming up for the Mariners. Carlos Estevez comes out trying to close it out. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Mike Ford digs in now. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The pitch. Strike two. Right. 
That one the other way. Makes the catch. One down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Wong can't hold up and that's a strike. The tying run at the plate. And that one wrapped foul. Oh, and two now. Just off the outside part of the plate. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That's inside. Two and two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Righty delivers. In the air, left field. Or drifts towards it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. And the batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Late swing, foul to the left. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits.